What kind of help would you, would you offer him? Well, what I would offer you right now, my friend, is I have a limo waiting outside to take me and you to O'Hare Airport. I'm gonna escort you down to Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I'm gonna put you into Serenity House Detox, which is a state-of-the-art medical detox, to where after seven to 10 days, you're gonna walk out for the first time in a long time, 100% clean and sober, no Suboxone, no nothing. And then, and then I'm gonna take you over to Banyan Treatment Center in Pompano Beach, Florida, who I work for. And the reason I work for Banyan is people that complete our 90-day program got a 40% chance of staying clean and sober the next year. Believe me, this is a gift that isn't offered to too many people. You need some help. What you want to do, Mo? You want to accept the help today? I can't do that. <sighs> okay. I, can't. I have to project. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> No, you're fine. Come on here. Please. You're I'll so deep. Deep. I'll need some time and I mean I can't make I can't a take any more. I told you. What is this? This is life or death. Mama Matt Kunani you to tell Halak. Don't kill yourself. Don't kill yourself. You're committing suicide, Mama. You're committing suicide. We need to start working with the family on dealing with the fact that they have a dead son. And they need to start preparing for that. Absolutely. It is the drugs talking. I heard somebody call that out. That's right. It's the drugs talking. He's driven by fear. Well, I've got to talk to my dad. I've got to do this. And you're banging dope every day. You got to save your life. That's the only choice you have. You are going to die. <laughs> Believe me, you're not unique. I have never met a heroin addict that just said I quit and I'm cured. This is obsession and compulsion of the mind, allergy of the body. Walk through your fears, face everything and recover because you've been running your whole life and that's okay. And I'll ride this out with you a thousand percent, not just a treatment, when you get back, support groups for your family, but quit letting the fear because you can't go back home and start using again. You're gonna die. Can I say something, man? I was in your shoes before, man. Like your story, like we're so identical in it. And I've been to the detox center. I've been to the Banyan Treatment Center, man. Like. I wouldn't trade it for anything. What got through to you? Like, just like the, the spiritual solution. So you, you just know, had a moment. I found, yeah, working. Were you dying? Yeah. yeah. Did you have an overdose and nearly die? Yeah. Okay. Well, Several. people find, ma magically, they find clarity when they die or nearly die. The problem is there are a bunch of dead people that didn't find their way to clarity. Yeah, man. See, that's, that's, yeah. See, that's the funky part about it. It takes a lot of these cats to have a traumatic experience to overdose. Most people don't survive the overdose. Yep. I'm not going anywhere. Mama, you want here. Take the help. It's absolutely free right now. You ain't got to really check with your father. You've done enough. The family, they love you as much as they can. You got a chance to stop doing it to your mother, your father, and your sisters. One shot, yes or no? No. All right. Cool. <gasps> Hey folks, welcome. Uh, thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. Don't forget to click here to subscribe to my channel. That way you won't miss a single hot new video, some really good stuff. And then I want you to click here to see more clips from the show right now.